And with a growing number of House Democrats calling for Biden to drop out of the race, we're checking in with our local Democratic congressional candidates to get their take. And our KCRA 3 Capitol correspondent Ashley Zavala joins us. She checked in with those in our area in our most competitive races, mm -hmm. right? So what are they saying about this? Well, at this point, they're either sidestepping the question or they're ignoring us altogether. We know both parties are closely watching three races in our area. First, Republican and current mayor of Stockton, Kevin Lincoln, is trying to unseat Democratic Rep. Josh Harder in House District 9. Here's how Harder responded when we asked if he thinks Joe Biden should stay in the race. I haven't heard a lot of folks uh, in our area who are concerned about what's going on in D.C. People are focused on better commutes, safer schools. They're focused on better health care, more jobs. That's what people in San Joaquin County are, are concerned about. And that's my focus. My focus is on making sure that we're delivering projects like this that are going to make our community a better place to live and not on, you know, folks that are pointing fingers or, or trying to do all sorts of crazy machinations elsewhere. So moving on to House District 3 that runs along Eastern California, Democrat Jessica Morse is trying to unseat Republican Congressman Kevin Kiley. She also did not directly answer the question and gave us this statement instead, quote, we need to stop Donald Trump at every level, regardless of what happens at the top of the ticket. Congress must be the firebreak against the existential threat of MAGA extremism. And what I can do is unseat Kevin Kiley, one of Trump's foot soldiers right here in Roseville. We also checked in with Democrat Adam Gray, who narrowly lost House District 13 in the Central Valley to John Duarte. Gray's campaign did not respond at all to our request. Now, political experts note the presidential candidates, those at the very top of the ticket, can certainly have an impact on those down ballot congressional races. These three that we just laid out are expected to help determine the balance of power in Congress this coming November. And how many Democratic lawmakers have called for President Biden to drop out of the race so far. I'm yeah. starting to lose track. Right. Well, this number keeps evolving. And even in the last hour, there was mm. one added. So, so far, 27 U.S. Mm. representatives and now four U.S. senators, one from Ohio, just adding on within the last hour. So 31 total have reportedly done so. Five of them so far are from California, the most recognizable name in our area. In that list is Representative Adam Schiff, who we know is running to represent California in the U.S. Senate with that consequential election in November also. So no one wants to talk about the elephant in the room just yet. But Doesn't... just yet. Yes. But we'll see. Right. Things yeah. change as things change. Exactly. Ashley, thank you. Thank you.